you know when when my dad died mm. i was very close to my dad like mm. we we're very close but when he died it that was when i realized that we we're not as close as i thought mm-hmm. because there was not a single photo of me and my dad wow i don't think i i have to i don't know and I, it, I don't think I have bro to. go back home and take a picture i'm telling you because it hurts me so much that i don't have a single photo of my dad hello guys we're back again it's francis and fifi your host on your favorite podcast in the whole world the fnf catch dialogues bro hey. so when you went to bed last night right mm-hmm. by the time you woke up this morning if you had turned a 90 year old <laughs> granddad hey. what is one thing you would have wished you had done before becoming old 90 years you woke up in a new world like things have changed and you have gray hair you've got grandchildren which you don't know how they wow. sprout forth you're using your current life as a perspective what what is one thing that you wished you had done that's to be fair that's a very difficult question but what even comes to mind it it would probably be about not creating enough good moments and good memories that's probably one thing i've regretted especially with family and mm-hmm. you know friends and loved ones yeah mm-hmm. because i still feel like it's something i'm quite intentional about lately trying to sort of build memories take yeah. videos of you know small things and all that to keep it for later yeah. so yeah i would really be like hey i should have should done of these ways so yeah. that now i just woke up all of a sudden i'm 90 i'll just play them back and you know probably... i think memories are very important right Absolutely. yeah you, you like that's that's one thing when you reflect on there are people who are not in, as intentional about it they, they are not bothered like mm-hmm. they take life too seriously don't make time to you know make merry Yeah. create something even at our current age there are things that you remember from your childhood and you're like wow yeah like, you, you just remember and you smile it could be very bad things but you remember ah, did i really do this then you smile you <laughs> laugh at them the mistakes <laughs> and all those things okay so we were we were privileged to yeah. meet a few old people and yeah. ask them what some of the things they regret they had done like uh, they should have done when they were much younger and if they were to advise their old selves what would they have done differently definitely so i'll start with this so one person said the thing he regrets the most mm. is not spending enough time with his loved ones you see exactly what i was talking about like you know when when my dad died mm. i was very close to my dad like mm. we we're very close but when he died it that was when i realized that we we're not as close as i thought mm-hmm. because there was not a single photo of me and my dad wow i don't think i i have to i don't know and I, it, i don't think I have bro to. go back home and take a picture i'm telling you because it hurts me so much that i don't have a single photo of my dad same thing a very good mentor of mine also passed and i was looking at the moments where i had so many opportunities with this person to take a photo or something and i never did i was only t- you know and i realized i don't have a photo of my dad the two of us together mm. i don't have a photo of myself and pastor josh and you know i i you, you see life can't go you don't life is unpredictable you don't know what's going to happen the next minute yeah. live in the moment catch memories of it and, and you know nah. i'll say that sometimes we think the people we have around us now yeah. will be there forever that's the thing because we do have friends that they, they died at a very young age where Bro. you're close to this person the next minute you hear the person is dead and you wish that there's something you should have done you, you wish that there's mm-hmm. something you can remember yeah of that person and it, it's not there there's nothing it, it's gone that that time has passed yeah and uh it hurts so much like it really hurts so guys please sometimes capture, they could capture, they, they yeah. could even be alive but then 
the time, let's say parents mm-hmm. and family, the time that you wish that, oh, let me take this person out. Yeah. Let me let me reserve this moment for later. Mm-hmm. The later becomes when the person is on a sick bed and the person can't can't exactly enjoy that, that thing that you know. Do you get it? So spend as much time as you want with them uh, as much as possible. Mm-hmm. You see, it's not always about pursuing success and other things. These things, forming relationships, creating memories for men, bro. It's it's top top on the list. Really important. Top top on the list for me. Yeah. Okay, so the second person, uh, the second person we spoke to, right, yep. was uh, saying that she, it's a she. She said mm. she regrets not pursuing her passions and her dreams. There were things that she fancied doing, yeah, but she kept postponing, postponing. them, yeah. And there were ones that she was scared of attaining. Yeah. It could be that dream girl or guy you want, but you you think. It's not worth chasing after this yeah. thing. Let me just leave it. Maybe I, I won't even get it. You don't even try. Mm. Or it's a school you want to attend. It's a course you want to pursue. It's a, a job. There's, there's something. Like something you're very passionate about. Yep. Starting a business. Some people are start, uh, passionate about maybe starting a restaurant. Mm-hmm. But they didn't do it. And then they reflect on it. It's like, in my old age, I would have wished I'm visiting my restaurant. Just eating for my own yeah business or doing this or doing that so yeah sometimes we are, we are too scared of pursuing well most, most definitely and if you don't that's the thing you'll regret it yeah because i was i was talking to a friend of mine she's um she's a i think she's a biomedical scientist something like that mm-hmm. and at the time she was going to the university she was like 40 plus yes and i was like i thought that it was kind of you know, she's a bit old. She's got her kids and mm-hmm. all that. And she was like, it's a four-year degree program, okay? If I decide to go for it, which I'm doing now, in the next four years, I'll be 44. Mm-hmm. I'll be fine. I can come out and do this. If I still don't do it, the next four years is still going to come and I'll still be the same You'll still be the same. So what's the point of not pursuing it? And it, it really sunk in me and I was like, yeah, whatever you want to become, you still can become it. You know, sometimes you feel like, some things that passed you, you feel like you you are you you've grown to a certain level, so you can't do some things. They are far gone. Yeah, you that that's that's one thing I was going to say. Yeah. It's like um, some people are afraid to start all over again. That's like you've got to a point in your career where if you, you think that this is not bringing me satisfaction, mm-hmm. this is not what I want to do. But coming back to start from the scratch in the field you want becomes too difficult. What mm-hmm. people say. People will say, I've, I've left this thing to come and start here. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, you are hurting inside. You are, you are going to work and you are anxious. You are, you are doing this and you are not happy. You are in this country and you are not happy. Just just go where you want. Yeah. Start from there. It could be two years. You, you've you spent 10 years in this career, which is not making you happy. Who knows? In that job that will make you happy yeah. or in that country or in that field that will make you happy, you go there in two years, you, you would yeah exactly you You just explode and and be doing amazing stuff okay so this person says that he regrets Mm -hmm. neglecting his health not being intentional about his health we actually this actually a patient we we met and then um he he said i asked him sometimes just talking to people and saying what is one thing you would advise your younger Younger self self. the one thing when you reflect you regret not doing it I wasn't intentional enough about my health. Yeah. You, you, I think it's, if you work in the health sector, you, you'll hear this a lot, especially when you're interacting with your patients. Mm. Uh, I remember a very typical example. Um, so there was this patient I was looking after. He had come in for a day case in the cath lab. After he was done, I, I went to his room, you know, to chit chat and all that. And he was a bit sorrowful. And we, we would talk, I mean... I asked him what's wrong and all that. And he asked me to come closer. So he took his phone, unlocked the screen, and it was a picture of the wife and daughter. And he was like, these people are the reason why I am alive today. And these people are the reason why I am so I'm fighting to stay alive because I was a heavy drinker. He talked about things that he had done, the terrible stuff. And he was like, he really regrets it. But now... He, he's he's afraid that he won't have 
enough time to actually enjoy the people on the screen that he's showing me and you know like sometimes when yeah, when we are young like i uh, have uh, one of my uncles like yeah. the thing you advise him you you hear my grandma advising him don't do this it's not it's not good for mm-hmm. you he goes to do it just to make my grandma angry you know and other <laughs> day you think you are doing it for your grandma yeah. you are doing it to make that person angry but yeah. you are you are hurting yourself like anything that is not good for your health like you are eating too much fat mm. cut on it why talking about my eating it's like you know yeah. you, you think when people advise you you think that when you do it it will make that person happy and it will bring your ego down mm. but in the long run things that you've done for 50 years i was saying that in our previous episodes that uh, decisions that we make in life eating smoking drinking whatever it is that you know is not good for your health yeah. it goes over a period of 40 years when you become old and your body asks you to pay for it it wouldn't take five years to correct those mistakes no i mean it's not and yeah it's definitely not the fourth thing i've got here is fearing change and taking risks so she said she regrets not pursuing some things because of the risk involved yeah she said she feared to change and fear to take some risk yeah. life is a risk yeah i think it links with um the lady who talked about not pursuing mm-hmm. her, her passions and her dreams she, like uh, change change can be good mm-hmm. okay it's not always bad okay change can be good and there are there are, like you really said there are things that you need to risk because like you are what 45 you've got a good career mm-hmm. and you're like i don't like this career mm-hmm. you want to stop mm-hmm. quit start all over again that is a serious risk because for example um I, I think we were talking about it the last time that it was it was one of the things i really wanted to do to go to medical school mm-hmm. so it's like if i get here i'll go to medical school blah 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 but then i was thinking if i decide to pursue it now it would have to be a full-time course okay that means i'm not earning any money mm. i'm i'm this age and i'm going to start fresh as a student who's going to take care of me who's... but you see you think about all these things and you're like nah let me leave you it. you demoralize Did you yourself? get it you're like nah let me leave it let me let it go do you get what i mean but yeah and there, there are people in situations like that you know there are situations where it's kind of feels impossible but there's nothing that's impossible you get it and there are some that if you actually sit down and figure it out you would be able to do it so yeah by all means take the risk don't be scared to leave your comfort zone yeah. like traveling to a different country to start work as a race i've met most of my white colleagues yeah. ask, tell me that how has it been for you moving to an entirely different country if not got any family here yeah you are here working are you not scared like who did you know i i came to a place where i was the only person for my my country you know, you know i didn't anyone. i didn't know anyone but then it's worth the risk yeah it's a very yeah. bold move to get it yeah like, you know for example this whole nursing immigration thing you have matrons and you know oh yeah deputy directors they put their posts down put then. everything down you know come to start from scratch literally but some people it's not all about the, the money the day, it's yeah. just about probably quality of life their mm-hmm. health yeah. I, I met one of my patients who's a good friend now. She she told me that the reason why she's happy here, it's not about the money, but it's about her health. She knows that the condition she has, mm. if she was back home, she would probably have died. Yeah. You know? That's true. Pretty much. This says that she um said she regrets holding on to some unnecessary grudges and not forgiving. So mm-hmm. the example she gave, so she she said that she had this very good friend that there's something that probably sh- she could have let it slide, but because of her ego, mm-hmm. she held on to it, not talking to the friend. Yeah. It was a relationship she had built over time, but because of that silly thing, she said, I won't forget, I won't talk to you. Two weeks after the person, the friend passed away, Damn. she couldn't go to the funeral. You can't, bro, you can't. Like, you can't and nah it's it's, it's it's such a shame like yeah some people the, the, the relationships that you you need to repair okay. you get to yeah let things go because i mean 
what you lose if you if you forgive you don't lose anything you can hurt you please it's yeah when you hear i'm dead today what would you do just yeah. just forgive me forgive if you can okay it doesn't cost you a thing oh boy don't forgive <laughs> i'm kidding just please forgive by all means. <laughs> okay so this person said yeah he didn't get time to focus enough on himself because he was overworking and now he's got the money but he's not happy yeah he spent all his youthful years overworking not making like it ties into a few of the things exactly, he spoke about because just overworking he said work is good but i shouldn't have overworked yeah people don't rest like back to back there's no work-life balance there is no investment in their own personal pursuit and everything is about the professional you get to working for people doing this doing that and they do very little for themselves people don't go on holidays people don't even take an leave. they sell it they sell it something that someone has sat down to know that you need a break you sell the annual leave if not in this country format. i i didn't know you could sell your annual leave but you back home <laughs> your salary is every copy you want them to how are you going wow. to sell your annual leave you get it like people should really invest in themselves deliberately you know do that we've, kind of thing we've had stories where yeah. people had worked back to back shifts and on their way driving home they just had an accident because yeah. they were sleeping behind the wheels absolutely we hear that all the time people are dying on buses someone left her daughter at home yeah to go and work people have developed dvts oh fuck. because of you know constant working standing blah 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 bro the last thing we'll talk yeah. about now says that so this a much younger person mm-hmm. but because of health constraints yeah, the person looks older and is handicapped she said she regrets not investing in her personal growth exactly what we we're talking about because now that she's handicapped she 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 thinks that if she had invested in things that would have trained her brain given her different skills she could be working remotely or doing some things remotely and still using a handicap to her benefit so not Absolutely. investing in yourself yeah apart from being handicapped like you need to grow you need to read you need to you don't have to stay stagnant yeah definitely yeah. It, it should and when it comes to personal growth it cuts across a lot of things about about finances about religion mm-hmm. about um health you, you need to don't stay stagnant you get no. to like read a lot think you know have you you shouldn't always if you're a nurse or you are in a particular profession your conversations cannot always be about that mm. because we, we've been talking about networking and all that you would be in spaces where there are other people there should be something in common all of you can discuss aside your profession Definitely. you get it there there are people you can't hold conversations with them on on current affairs because they don't even read they don't know anything no. there are people you can't discuss politics with them you can't discuss football with them like all they know is vital signs <laughs> like bro yeah you get there are it people here in the UK nah. who don't even know their prime minister's name do you get yes. it <laughs> like oh nah yeah guys um the list goes on and on but because of time constraints yeah we won't be able to finish everything hopefully We'll get someone to share a life story on this particular Absolutely. topic. We're, cu- we're cooking. We're cooking, so don't worry. We'll get you something good very soon. Thank you for staying with us till this point. If it's your first time watching us, please hit that subscribe button and click on the post notification bell. So when we post a video, you'll be able to watch it firsthand. And like this video, share, tell us someone about FNF Catchy Dialogues. Comment. Put your thoughts in the comment section. Just say it's a nice video. If you've not got anything to say, <laughs> it goes all a long way to help us. Thank you, and until we see you in the next episode, it's peace.